What's going on, y'all? It's JD Pakel. Today on CFB with JD, we're going to be breaking down the skill set of Jackson Dart. Welcome into CFB with JD, the people's channel for every single thing that you know and love about college football. It happens here on this channel, happens nearly every single day. Armstrong, Sims, Jack McKenzie, they do the real heavy lifting for this channel and y'all drive the show. One way that we try to incorporate more of your show driving is through my Twitter page. At JD Pakel, we do polls, we do snippets, we do open-ended questions. We wanna hear from you. That's the easiest medium for us to hear you at. So follow me there again, at JD Pakel. Now, one thing that you've made it very clear to us that you enjoy is Jackson Dart. I don't blame you. He's the best player in the transfer portal, not named Caleb Williams. It was down to Oklahoma and Ole Miss for a minute and then took a visit to BYU out of nowhere. So verdict's still out on old Jackson Dart, but one thing that's undeniable, kid has got game. We're going to take a look at it right now. One thing that I love about him He's got a good little la cabeza. What I mean by that is he's got all the physical tools. That's great. But what he does with his eyes, what he does on the mental side of the game, really makes him special and sets him apart. So right here, he looks off the safety really well. We got a seam route right here. We got man coverage on him. We got a safety over the top. So this safety essentially is going to be the rover. He can play over all three of these. This whole side of the field is his. We got one-on-one -on -one down here as well. But what Jackson Dart sees is, hey, He's on a linebacker. My man right here, probably a good athlete. That's fine. He can't run with my slot receiver. So if I can keep him at bay with my eyes, we got a chance to make a big play. So again, seam route down the pipe. What Jackson's going to do, if you can tell by the way that his head is situated during this play, he's going to look over here. He's going to keep him running over here. He's going to look over here. He's going to keep him running over here. He's going to do everything but stare down this receiver because he knows eventually if he can win, which we feel good about his chances, we're going right there with the football. So let's see it right here in the three-step drop. He's looking down here to the bottom of his screen. He's looking over here. Watch the way that he scans the field but never stares down his receiver. Boom, looking over, look at that. I'm gonna throw to you right here. Got you right here, buddy. Eyes, vision, all the way down there. Coming back, takes a glance up here. Obviously he's not throwing there. When he hits his third step, it's out. Look again. Third step, eyes are on my target. I know where that thing is going to be, and look at my boy. Wide open. He can't cover me, but look at where the safety is, more importantly. Safety is never worried at all about where he's going with that football in the third person. Third person is in third wide receiver. Let's see if we can pause it. He's over here. It's a blurry picture, but that safety is all the way over here because he was never worried about our slot receiver. Wide open, strike up the band, six points, good guys. Same exact concept right here. We got a little go route on the bottom, one on one. Safety has all of this real estate back here. Playing center field, you better trust him, you're gonna put him back there. Here, Jackson Dart actually looks the opposite way. Looks at these two receivers, eyes them, and you'll see again on the third step when he gets into his progression, third step, he's out on time and gets it right to his receiver. So watch what he does. Watch the safety. Boom. Looks the other way, back across the field. Such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's watch it again. Right, boom, over here. So he takes a peek at it first. Takes a peek. Vision is to his receiver he's going to throw to. Watch this next play though. Takes a peek over here to hold the safety. So he sees it's open right now. Take a look. Look there, look there. Not really going there, back across the field. And he holds it just enough, just enough to give his guy a chance. If he doesn't hold that safety with his eyes, look at that. It's about three or four yards. If he doesn't hold that safety with his eyes, he has a chance to get over and make a play on that ball. He doesn't, puts a great one on his receiver, another deep touchdown. That's what I love about his eyes. What I also love is he understands leverages so, so well. He had a, had a chance to make a lot of great leverage throws in this game, meaning you have man coverage, you have uh, a DB doing a pretty good job on your receiver, so you got to put it essentially where he's not. I know you're saying, JD, no duh, you always put the ball where the DB's not. Well, let me explain. Let me show you what I mean here. We got one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's playing press against Drake London. Bad choice, but okay. And he actually does a pretty good job on old Drake London. 
is in his hip pocket right here. He's just about stride for stride with him. He's not really getting beat. So what do you do when you have a man who's right here on you? He doesn't really have the speed advantage there. Uh, he's not making a cut because it's just a go route. So he puts it on the outside shoulder. I'm going to shade it right there if you can tell with that little squiggly line, squiggly line. Meaning, I'm the receiver. I'm running. DB is right here on my face. They're right here, right here in my, on my chest area. So Jackson Dart, if he puts the ball out here, well, that's where the DB is. He can't fit the ball right there. So what he does, makes a back shoulder throw. So the, the receiver kind of anticipates he's got some sideline to work with, moves his body around and catches it right where the DB is in a great leverage throw. So watch how he, boom, opens up. Dan Marino used to say, there is no defense for a perfect pass. And that's what this is right here. Perfect pass, high and away. Again, good coverage. Our DB never has a chance. Similar situation right here. Drake London in the slot, big body. He's gonna run a seam route down there. He's gonna run with him, and they're actually gonna shadow him pretty well over the top. Another situation, they just committed to, hey, we're not gonna let you beat us over the top and just completely beat us deep. Jackson Dart says that's fine. It's exact same situation. Let's see if we can't get a good picture for you here. Again, right here on the inside. If he puts that inside, it's intercepted. If he puts it high over the middle, intercept it. Puts it on the back shoulder. He's got a basketball player in Drake London. He knows he can jump, and look at where he catches it. Outside of the framework, DB is on his shoulder playing piggyback. There's just no chance that he has for that. So he knows how to play to his strengths, knows how to get the ball to his guys in space, and knows how to make sure it's away from the DB and puts the ball out of harm's way. This is the last piece I put on here just for fun. He's 6'3", 215. Jackson Dart can move and shake a little bit. You can actually call some of the read option game for him. So if you're Jeff Lebby, uh, if you're Charlie Weiss Jr. at Ole Miss, you can keep some of that read option game that you have with your previous signal caller if you have a guy like Jackson Dart. So right here, they call it an inverted veer. That'll make sense in a second. It's essentially the same thing as a read option, except you're reading that defensive end a little bit differently. So if he, so we, we, got, our, we got our motion coming across here, and we're just reading this end man on a line of scrimmage. If he shoots up at me at the quarterback position, my guy is fast enough to beat him to the perimeter. If he comes outside, well, you're leaving Jackson Dart for a whole lot of space underneath, and watch what happens. Great play design, great play call. You don't call it if your quarterback can't run it. So right here, look at his shoulders. He's running down the line of scrimmage. Boom. Whole lot of space for Jackson Dart. Look at this. There's no way he can double back and catch Jackson Dart. He's too athletic. He's too big. He's a long strider. And I love this, too, the physicality of the run. Boom, get off me. Boom, get off me. Takes three guys to bring down your quarterback. Talk about firing up a sideline. Talk about a weapon you can use on first down in the red zone. Having your quarterback be able to do stuff like that on the read option that a defense has to honor, it creates headaches for defensive coordinators during the week because it's another thing that you just simply have to account for. So whether it's BYU, whether it's Oklahoma, whether it's Ole Miss, somebody is going to get a very, very good quarterback, a very dynamic quarterback in Jackson Dart. That's it for us here at CFB with JD. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at JD Paquel. We've got a lot of exciting things coming down the pipe here. There is no offseason here. Simply the preseason. We're in the middle of it right now. Appreciate you tuning in. We'll keep the party rolling. We will see y'all next time.